Hey, Maria Colindres, how are you, girl? ¿Cómo estás? How are you? Pretty good? Hi, teacher. Hi, are you still working? Yes. Wow, todavía estás trabajando, you're still working, wow. Yeah. Ah, I'm sorry. Yeah, but it's part of the job, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing else that we can do. <laughs> hey, but I'm so happy that you're here, even though you are working. That's really nice. I'm so happy to see you. Okay, do your job, okay? Don't worry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, we have Melvin also. We missed Melvin yesterday. What Hello, happened? Teacher. You decided to come one class and not the other one. What's going on? I miss you. Yes. Yeah, sorry, because I was working. Yeah, I know. I know. Yes. These, uh, you told us that this um, two weeks will be really hard, right? Yes, yes, the government is crazy now. It's really crazy? Oh, God, I'm sorry to hear that. But are you they like, are, uh -huh, go ahead. They are, they are spending our money. Okay. <laughs> hey, but tell me something. Uh, did you finish your task for today at least? What? The platform? Did you finish your task? I mean, each, each day right now, uh, you have like specific goals to reach, right? At your yes. job so yes. did you finish your today's oh, goal? Yes. yeah yes, yes. Ah, okay so that's good mm, tomorrow comes uh, more For what? requests but more requests but today's ones they're it's gone good. It's good. It's good. It's, this is our our sales more of the yeah month. exactly oh really yes it is and it's going to be a big sale right yes we achieved our, our your goals our goals yeah that's amazing so that's good that's good, right? You got a lot of work, but it's good because it benefits yes. everybody. That's yes, thank you. Yeah. Hey, what about the Coke? Did you finish your Coke last night? I know it was not yes. last night. It was like two days ago, right? Two days ago. Yeah. yeah. Actually, actually, after class, I go to dinner. And, you, and you, you had a dinner after I class? Went to dinner, yes. Ah, yes. did you buy something special? No, no. No, no. But oh. not my daughter gave me give me a glass of coke <laughs> uh, really oh that's great yeah, that's great yes. uh, did yeah, your dinner. wife cook yes yes the dinner is yes mm. i i cook breakfast every day <laughs> okay because she go to work uh -huh. and, and she uh, come back dinner. to come back to home and prepare dinner yes oh so at dinner time mm, is a jammy time right Yes. yes. Uh, also breakfast. Also breakfast. <laughs> this is fast food. Very A fast. fast food? Like yeah. what, for example? Sandwich and tortilla de arroz. Rice. Okay, rice tortillas. Tortillas de arroz. Rice tortillas. Sí, pero no sé cómo las las se llaman rapiditas. Se llaman. Oh yes, so, yes, yes. I I yeah. I remember you those. Can, you can feel the bimbo with, ones, right? Yes, you can. You can feel with. Every, anything right anything avocado eggs um, um, eggs um, mm. beans cheese oh, that's that. yeah that's good so every yes. time you did something you do something different right yes, yes what yes. about pancakes uh, actually sunday i yeah. i make a pancakes you prefer pancakes uh, yes mm -hmm. yes because pero los instantaneous but the instant one. okay yes. really? only only add only water and only water yes and you didn't add eggs uh no, no nothing no. instant yeah. instant make <laughs> <laughs> just, just water just water and uh, <laughs> on. okay yes, eh? was it good yes yes, yes. right okay yes. cool was hey good. you see guys we're listening to mr melvin that is like telling us a story about sometimes things that he has to face through right like uh, dilemmas for example <laughs> or i don't know situation that it needs to like quick think like for example what am i gonna do for breakfast right Mm, that's good. You know what? He's a really good chef, actually, because I love your bean soup recipe. <laughs> good receipts, but yeah. good receipts. That is good. Hey, you have to shave your beard, right? Yes, yes, a little bit. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, you see, yes. I noticed. Very good. I'm so happy to have you back. I'm so, so, so happy. Hey, you came a really good day, you know, because today we're going to have so much fun.
Yes, and yes. continue to develop the skills that we need supposed to. Uh -huh. okay, let me ask Eduardo because it was the other guy who missed the class yesterday. What happened, Eduardo? Hi. We Good miss evening. you. Good evening, sir. I had a problem yesterday because uh, oh, I God. think that we we go we went to cele to celebrate the my nephew birthday okay your nephew's birthday yeah my nephew yeah and i thought that uh, i'll be in the in his house until 7 30 but uh -huh. he he didn't come early and i Ooh. i have to wait for him so, oh okay i got it yeah so uh, yeah i missed the class sorry <laughs> I, we miss you too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, what yeah. happened with you? Oh, we miss you. But I understand. There are some things that you can handle and some things that you don't have control with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody else's behavior, so time, you don't have control about it. So that's okay. But at least if you double check the video, that's fine. Okay. And if not, <laughs> I will <laughs> kill you. I'm just kidding. Not <laughs> no, but I'm so happy. Hey, how is Mr. Ash? Mr. Dash? Dash, he, sorry, oh my God, Dash. Yeah, Dash, yeah. He's, fi he's fine, but uh, now he's with her mom. Oh, really? You still left yeah. him there? Yeah, because um, in in that house, he has more space. Yeah, but you don't miss and him. We love, yeah, we, we miss, be, but we are thinking about that because mm -hmm. It's very difficult to have a, a, a puppy, and I love the, 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 the puppies, but uh, in my grandma's house, mm -hmm. he has a lot of space. Oh, so uh, okay. He has a big yard, and he, I think that he is more happy. He's happier there? He's but happier, maybe you, yes. can, you can take uh, him with you on weekends. Yeah, and I need help in the in the house because uh, when we were going to to work, mm -hmm. he he left alone. Oh, oh he, yeah, um, and he meets you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah so I understand. <clears throat> we we think about that a lot of. And yeah, we, I know. Yeah, it's especially kind of sad. <laughs> yeah, because dogs are really demanding, right, guys? They are different. Yeah, they are different yeah. than cats. Cats, they could be alone, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's actually, I, I had a. They're like I a self-independent. Yeah. Just when they need food, <laughs> sometimes they they looking for you, but. Oh yeah. They are very independent. Yeah, they are. For example, a my little cat Chloe Marie. She started like meow, meow, meow. She's going right behind me. So if I'm cooking or something, meow, meow. So asking, you know what? I'm hungry. And when I mm -hmm. opened the, the fridge, she said meow, meow, meow until I feed her. So she loves the, the little, the, the dry food. But at the same time, she prefers the humid food. The one that comes in a little bag. Yeah. It says in, for mini cats. Yeah, because the oil, she's in the in the can. Yes. No, actually no. That one is like a little bag. Oh, plastic okay. bag. Okay. Because she's like a two month and a half, almost three. So every time that I just put like the dry food and at the same time the humid one, she start doing like that. Like she's turning on her motor. I don't know if she's doing it like automatically or what. But you remember that they are like like that right they do that the cats so that means that she prefers that and she loves and she's happy yeah but she's a little baby and she eats like every two or three hours like oh my god chloe so she came like this and now she's like this and you know how i think how, she duplicated her high her size is. i don't know it's like i think it's angora but it's like uh, three colors just like a white yellow and a little bit black and her eyes are green like oh. my ones <laughs> yes <laughs> <definitely>. <laughs> yeah we're look alike <laughs> no <laughs> yeah but she's really nice she's lovely 
just lovely. And Chestnut、uh, loves her. They fight. They sleep together. And at the same time, Chestnut grab her like a little toy. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's Chestnut's baby. We knew, we knew the、uh, Clau, Claude Marie.、Oh, Claude Marie. Yeah, Claude, Claude Marie. Claude Marie.、Oui. We watch in the in the video that you send in the. In the oh、uh, yeah, the little one that she was like that. Yeah, she's the. But, and, and you knew her that she speaks English, right? Because I asked her, "Give me five, give me five," and she gave me five. She gave、really? me ten actually. Hey, I sent that also.、She's、you didn't、smart. watch it.、She、yeah, I, I, I watch. <laughs> yeah, she gave me. I watched five. it when she in the. In she was the, doing it this on, on the on the, the on, bed. On the bed, yeah. Oh, I think yeah, that was、yeah. the one that she gave、yeah. me five. Ah,、uh, right. Yeah, so she's. And Jason, what kind of dog? Is he? He's a Bichon Maltese. Oh yeah. A Bichon Maltese, and Whiskey is terrier with a snouter. I really、oh. love schnauzers. Yeah, they're schnauzers. Really,、oh. really smart. Yeah, yeah. And they are very protective and lovely. And at the same time,、um, they are very territorial as well. With with their at, family. At least with me, yes. Yeah. You cannot imagine. Sometimes <laughs> he just climb on the bed and gets near close to me. And he put himself in the middle between my husband and me. <laughs> yes, because say you know what? It's time for for me and my mama. So stay away from me. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? When when you like lie in bed and you give a hug to somebody like this, he put his little、uh, leg on me, pretending that he's giving me a hug. Can you imagine that? No,、yeah. you know what? I think the only thing that is last for whiskey is to speak. <laughs> But he acts like a human. You cannot imagine as now, sir, how really、um, interesting dogs are. Very interesting and unique. <laughs> But he's a grumpy. He's really grumpy. I think it's because he's getting older. He's eight years old. But he's really, really grumpy. You know what grumpy is? Like,、mm, yeah. Bad mood. Yeah. Like, It's really grumpy. At、yeah, least with the other the dogs.、Adults. Yeah, but with ladies, she loves. He loves ladies by heart. <laughs> mhm.、Mm、so I think. He's a player. Uh, not really, but、uh, <laughs> but I think he will love Patty, and also he will love Adela.、Uh, yeah. If if Whiskey says、uh, there's some time that he can see you guys, girls, he will jump into you, and he will give you like a kiss. Definitely, he is like that. Hmm. He's a gentleman as well. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, very、nice. good. So we were talking about our pets right now, but also, guys, I want to ask you something. I want you guys to pay attention on something that happens to somebody, and I just want you just let me know what had happened exactly. Okay, give me just your point of view about what happened. I'm gonna play an audio for you. And after that, we're going to discuss what happened to this guy. Okay. It will be like we continue developing their listening skill. Okay. This is going to be a listening, 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 because there's the hardest part for all of us, right? And we need to improve that part. So that's why I have focused all the last days on listening. Okay. Okay. Let me just one moment, guys. And let me know as soon as you're able to hear. Mm -mm, mm -mm. There you go. Key. Part A. Can you listen? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Listen and practice. Guess what? Someone stole my wallet last night. Oh no. What happened? Well, I was working out, and I had put my stuff in my locker, just like I always do. When I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. I guess I'd forgotten to lock the locker. That's terrible. Did you lose much money? Only about fifteen dollars, but I lost my credit card and my driver's license. What a pain! Okay, so tell me, guys, what happened to this guy? 
in your own words, what happened? Someone stole his wallet. Someone has stolen his wallet, exactly. Where did he put his wallet? Locker. Where was it? Where was it? In his locker. In his he put locker. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. In his locker, and he put on his locker, he was in the gym, he was at work. Where was it? Uh-huh, no? <laughs> you wanna play it one more time? Okay, I'm going to be nice. Just because of you. Hi, Adelita, hi, Patty. hi, Neftali, hi, Helen, hi, Carlitos, yay. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry if I didn't say hi to you, may I apologize, but I'm going to say it right now, okay? So I'm gonna play the one more time, okay? Just focus, guys, on where is the guy, where everything happens. Page 25, exercise seven, conversation. What happened? Mm -hmm. Part A, listen and practice. Guess what? Someone stole my wallet last night. Oh no, what happened? Well, I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker, just like I always do. When I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. I guess I'd forgotten to lock the locker. That's terrible. Did you lose much money? Only about $15, but I lost my credit card and my driver's license. What a pain. All right. So where was it? When did everything happen? Where? Working out refers to gym? Yeah, exactly. Working out refers to gym, exactly. And it was today? Yesterday? When? Last night. Last night, exactly. So he was working out, but first of all, he put everything on the locker, right? But he forgot to lock the locker. All right, so what had happened is that, uh, well, he lost $15, but he lost everything else, right? What, what else he lost besides the money? His credit card. Credit card, exactly. Mm -hmm. What a pain, he said. Okay. Guys, could you identify, let me ask you something. Uh, this action that this man um, is expressing right now, it is referred to something that happens in the past, something that happens in the future, or something that happened in the recent past. Recent past. Recent past, exactly. Exactly. But did you notice, guys, that uh, he just spoke in the past? And all the actions that he said was in the past. For example, he says, while I was working out, I left my, uh, somebody stolen my, you see, my, uh, my wallet, right? So, yeah, exactly. And I forgot to lock, right, the locker. Okay, so everything, all the action that he was mentioned, he, it was everything related to the past. What do you think, guys, uh, that person used? What type of verb tenses he used to express all what had happened to him? Any ideas? I'm looking Maria Colindra's hand right now. Yes. <laughs> hey, now I can see your face. Very good. What do you think, guys? What type of uh, verb tense? Any ideas? No? No? Please don't fight one at a time, one at a time. The simple past? Mm, no. Past <laughs> continuous. No. Well, he used it once, but it's not exactly that one. Past participle. Yeah, past participle is exactly past participle. Do you remember that we saw present participle, right? But past participle of the verbs. Mm -hmm. And when do we use past participle verbs? Any idea, guys? When do we use them? Well, in this case, he used the past participle, Eduardo, but uh, related to the past perfect of the verbs. Do you remember, guys, that we saw present perfect, right? We saw that? You already know that, right? But do you know when do we use the past perfect? 
Interesting, right? Is this the first time that you listen to that past perfect or no? Uh-huh. Please, please. One at a time. When do we use the past perfect? Any ideas, Eduardo? Um, Melvin? I don't know. Carlitos? I think, teacher, when we had a hat with the bear, uh, uh, before a pair. Oh, okay. That's a good one. Yeah. Any other one, guys? Any other ideas besides Carlitos? I will, I have sent it to you right now, guys. When do we use it in the WhatsApp? Actually, guys, the past perfect, we use it for an event that occurred before another event in the past, right? Let me send you, let me uh, send you guys part of the dialogue that will emphasize exactly what we are going to discuss today. Okay. But I'm going to send you first one thing. Okay. okay. This is the past event. I sent it to you right now. What was the past event? Uh, Eduardo, can you please be so kind to read it for me? Mm -hmm. Hello, Eduardo. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. I sent it right. I sent it to everybody right now, guys. The past event. The past event is the second one that I sent it to you. What was the past events? Oh, what okay. were okay. Mm -hmm. Past event. Mm -hmm. I was working out. I was working out, okay. When I came back, okay, and they were able to steal it. They were able to steal it. Okay, everything, guys. If you can see, it was uh, a past action. Okay, you in the first one we were using the past continuous, right, Jose? Yes. But in the in the other two, when I came back, they were able to steal it. They were also simple past. So basically, guys, those are the past events. That was talking about something that happens yesterday or in the past. So, this, we use the past perfect for an event that occurred before another event in the past. So, what occurred before, for example, I was working out, before I came back, before they were able to steal it? What had happened before this action? Okay, let me give it to you, the past perfect event. And I want you guys to double check how we can use the past perfect on this situation. Alrighty, let me give you the other half. Teacher. Yes. I have a, I have a question. Go ahead, go ahead. This example, past event, it was, uh, Eduardo was read, uh -huh. uh, is like a three tenths of past Really? Yeah, that depends on what you would like to explain. Because I was working. Uh, past continuous. Past continuous. When I came back, simple past. Mm -hmm. And then other event, oh, 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 one third event, they were yeah. able to steal it. Mm -hmm. This is the, the a definition, three past tense you need it? No, no, no. Actually, uh, they were. You see, that's the past simple past as well, but with the bird to be. They were able to. So also simple past. But with the verb to be. So that depends what you would like to explain. You can use either or. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So you're welcome. So that is with a past event. So what happened? What happened before I was working out? Or what happened uh, before I came back? What happened where they were able to steal? Okay, I'm going to send it to you right now. Let me send it to you. Did you receive it? Yep. Yes. Okay, yes. cool. So what happened, for example, I was working out. Can you please read it for me? Was, uh, what would happen uh, uh, before working out, uh, Melvin? I had put my stuff in my locker. Exactly. Take a look, guys. 
That means that before you start working out at the gym, you are right to your locker, you open your locket and put the stuff there, close it, and then you start working out, you see? So uh, uh, you put yourself in the locker, that was the past event that occurred before you start working out. You got it? So the second part to express that an action happens in the past before another past event, you use the past perfect of the verbs. Okay? Are we good on that? And how you construct the past perfect? Well, take a look, guys. Past perfect. Remember, how do we use the present perfect? Do you remember the present perfect uh, structure? Do you remember the present perfect? What is the verb that we use? What is the auxiliary that we use for present perfect? Uh huh. Have, very good. Have, do you remember Adela that is have guys? For I, we, you and they, do you remember? Okay, and after that is the main verb that is in the past participle, right? I have stolen. I have lived, if you're going to use, for example, uh, regular verbs. But now that we are talking about past participle, we're going to use the past of the verb have or the past of the verb has. Because in this case, guys, it's going to be one past, either if it's first, second, or third person, okay? For example, what is the past or of have? And has. What is the past, guys? Uh, Had. Had. Exactly. As you can see in the second uh, sample that I sent it to you, you put had. Okay. And then you have a verb. What is the verb that comes after had? Put. Put. Uh, 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 you sure? Uh huh. Put. Exactly. Put. But this one, guys, is in the past participle. What does it mean, put, in English? Collocate, right? Exactly, exactly. So, you, but you said put, because put is the same as present, past, and future. It's put, 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 right? So you put the, uh, or you uh, yeah, added the past participle of the verb. So let me give you right now the structure of the past participle. First, I'm going to write it down right now on the chat. First is going to be the subject. Then we have the auxiliary, which in this case we have had, plus the past participle of the verb, plus a complement. That would be the, the structure. Let me give you an example. This is the example that you have there. What is the example that you have, Melvin? On the first one that you read? They have put, right? I have put. I have put. You said I. Yes. I have put. What you, what you have put? My stuff in my locker. Okay. I have put my stuff, right? In my locker, you said. Okay. There you go. So if you notice, guys, it follows that section. It follows the grammar the grammar part that we're searching right now. My stuff, because it's going to be singular. Okay, good. Okay, you see, I, subject, had, is there, had. Oh, I put, I had out, put, I said it, right? I had, I have put, you see, I had to change this every time. Sometimes I don't change the keyboard, and that makes me like, I've changed words that I don't want to put it in my locker. Okay, I think this one is going to be okay. I have put, right? I have put my stuff in my locker, is that right? Yep. Okay, cool. Patty, do me a favor. Patty, Patty, Patty. No, teacher. Hello. Uh, you're, you sound a little Sorry. bit worse. Okay, don't worry. No, 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 no. Don't, don't like, don't like um, use your throat right now. You need to relax it, okay? So don't worry. I'm going to ask somebody else, okay? But that's okay. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Thank you, Jose. <laughs> yeah, this is the yes, grammar yes. guy, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, so give me, do me a favor, Jose. Can you please read for me the second part of the second sentence? At the last. Yes, image, please. Someone the last had image. stolen my wallet. Okay, someone had stolen my wallet. The 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 first action that the past event was that when I came back, right? But before I came back, what had happened, Jose? Someone had stolen my wallet. Exactly. Someone, you don't know who, but somebody, someone had stolen. You see, had stolen. Someone is going to be the subject. Had, it will be the auxiliary, but in the past. And stolen is the past participle of which verb, guys? Which verb? What is the present? Stole. Uh-uh. Steal. 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 It's still present, still, right? Got something or get something that is not yours. Still, stole, stolen, okay? Okay, very good, excellent. And the last one, Adela, do me a favor, girl. Can you please read for me the last sentence? Because I have for, forgotten to look the locker. Very good. So. Why uh, somebody uh, had stolen this guy's stuff? Because he had forgotten to lock the locker. Hey, what is the forgotten? What does it mean in Spanish? Forgotten. Exactly. And forgotten, what is the is the past participle of which verb, guys? Forget. Forget. Forgot. Forget. Forgotten in, in, in past, yes, Wendy, and forgotten in past participle. So, guys, in this case, if you would like to uh, use the past perfect and you would like to combine it to express that an action in the past happens before an event in the past, you got to use the verb had and the past participle of the verbs. So that means that you need to like make a refresh of the past participle. Let me make a refresh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me make a refresh, guys, to see how good you are right now in grammar. Would you like me to do that? Yes, right? Of course. Hi, teacher. <laughs> okay. Let me check really quickly. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to start with the easy one. B, what is the past of B? Quickly, was, was. Where? the past participle of B? Where? Was. Being, past participle. Past of B, was and where? Being, very good, Carlitos. Mm. Okay, what about begin? Began. Began. Began, and then the past participle? Began. Began, began, began begun. Began. Uh -huh. For break? Brock, 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 very good. For Bryn, the traer, Bryn, Brad, Brad, very Brown, good. Brown. For build, built, 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 very good, exactly. For burn, burned, burned, very good. For buy. Both. 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 But, but. Very good. For a can. Okay. Uh-huh. Could. Could. And the past participle, being able to. <laughs> uh-huh. That's different. All right. For catch. Catch. Cut. Catch. Cut. 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 Catch. Very Cut. good. For choose. Shows. Shows. Chosen. And chosen. Very good. Yes. For come. Okay. Came. 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 Come. Very come. good. Cost. Cost. Cut. 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 Very good. Do. Did. 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 Done. Did. Done. Done. Very good. Dream. Dream. Drunk. Dreamt, dreamt. Uh huh. Very good. For drink, drunk, 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 drunk. 
Drunk. Drunk. Drunk. Okay. For drive. Drove. Drove. Driven. 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 For it. Ate. 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 Very good. For fall. Oops. For fall. Fell. Fall. Fell. 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 And pass, pass, fall. 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 Fallen. 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 Very good. For feel. Felt. Uh-huh. And past mm. participle. Felt. 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 Uh-huh, mm -hmm. uh Melvin. I'm going to ask you now one. <laughs> For fight. For fight. Fought. 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 Fighting. Uh, no, fought, fought. For fly. Flew. Flow. Flew, flown. Flew. Flew. Very good. Flew. Excellent. Forget. Forgot. Forgot. Forgotten. Forgotten. Very good. Forget. Forgot. Forgot. No, get. Forget. Got. Get. Uh -huh. Got. 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 Very good. Give. Gave. 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 Given. Go. When. When. Go. Gone. Gone. Uh, had. 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 Okay, very good. Here. Here. <laughs> hurt, hurt, <laughs> hurt, <laughs> hurt, hurt, hurt. At the, at the end. Okay. No. No. New. No. None. No. Very good. Learn. Learned. 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 Leave. Left. Left. Uh -huh. Left. 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 No. Left. 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 Very Left. good, Wendy, but I want you to pronounce a T. Left. Very good. Okay. Loose. Lost. 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 Please, please pronounce a T. Okay. It's really important. Very good. Make. Made. 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 Very good. Must. Must. Mm -mm. Must. Had to. Had to. Had. Mm -hmm. Very good. Pay. 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 What is the pass of pay and pass participle? Pay. Paid. Paid. Mm -hmm. Paid. What about put? That's easy. Put. Put 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 put. put, 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 put. Ah, come on, that was easy one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What about read? Read. Uh huh. Read. 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 Very good. Say. Say. Said. 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 Very good. See. Very good. Show. Shoot. Shoot. Uh huh. Show. Sean. Very good. Sing. Sang soon. Sang soon. Very good. Excellent. Sleep. 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 Speak. Spoke. 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 Spoken. 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 Very good. Spoken. Spend. Spent. 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 Take. Took. Took. Uh -huh. Taken. 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 Teach. <laughs> Teach. What I'm doing right now. Teach. Thoughts. Hot thought. Very Thought. good. Think. Thought. 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 Very good. Understand. Understood. Understood. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send it to you. Okay. Just for you to have it with you. Okay, I already sent it to you. It, there are only 50, but there are more, okay? We have more irregular verbs. All of them have been irregular verbs. Most of the time, guys, we pass participle, we use irregular verbs. But as well, we use regular, okay? That depends on what is exactly what you would like to do. Okay, guys, it's time for writing practice. Would you like to do that? Yes, of course, I know. 
You're really nice, guys. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna send it to you right now. Uh, first of all, guys, we already have seen this first one. So the first one that I'm going to send it to you, it will be, you're going to use either past continuous or simple past. The first one, that's what I'm going to do. And the second one that I will send it to you, you're going to use the past participle of the verse, okay? Let me do, let me send it to you right now and that will be a writing activity. And I'm going to split it in two pairs. How many we are? We are 10, right? With me, 11. Okay, so bear with me. Let me send it to you. This guys is a little bit, uh, it's a, like a mini dialogue. There are four mini dialogues. And the first one that I'm gonna send it to you, I want you to complete the missing part with the verbs in parentheses with simple past or past continue. That's all that I want right now. Bear with me for a moment. Let me double check. Oops, yes, I need to do it again. There you go. Sorry guys, but this WhatsApp closed, so I need to like uh, scan the code like every five minutes just for you to, I, I can send it to you through the WhatsApp right now. Okay, so let me check. Okay, guys, did you receive it? Yeah, good? Okay, yes. cool. So I'm gonna send it to you right now. Okay, guys, let's work. Let's do it right now in um, everybody together, okay? I want to, that's the letter B is the one that you're going to do it in pairs. Okay, guys, so the first one, who can help me read it? Thank you so much, eh, Carlitos. Thank you. I want to hear your voice, sir. Carlitos. Uh, hi. Okay. Hi, teacher. So the first one, guys, a thief break into our okay. house uh, last night while my sister and I pick up a pizza dinner. Okay, Carlitos, you're going to use either past continuous or simple past. That's all. How are you going to use it in the first one? Any ideas? Um, for the first break into, I think it's a uh, uh, bro, bro, bro. Rock into. into. Okay. Bro so you into. said a thief. Read it for me the whole sentence. Uh huh. Okay, a thief broke into our house last night while my sister and, and I, I. Uh huh. Past continuous. Past continuous. Okay. Um, picking a uh, picking a, a pizza for dinner. Aha! Uh -huh. Very good. Almost perfect. But you missed something before the picking. What What do you miss? Was. Was or. Or where? So in this case, if you're talking about my sister and I, how many people? One or two? Uh, where? 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 Two, two people. Okay. Exactly. So give me the complete sentence, please. Okay. Uh, T broke into our house, house last night while my sister and I were picking a pizza for dinner. Oh, my goodness. That's fantastic, my man. I'm so proud of you. Woohoo! <laughs> Excellent. You. No, thank you. That's awesome. Awesome. Very good. Excellent job, sir. <laughs> you make me feel like dancing. I'm going to cry. <laughs> All right. Very good. Excellent. Jose left, but I'm going to ask him something. Mm -hmm. eh, ah, yes, he came back. <laughs> okay. Um, Melvin, you would like to try? Okay, Number you... two? Yeah. Okay. I was shopped with some friends yesterday and I lose. What is the path of loose? Lost, Lost. My, my keys. Very good. Almost perfect, but you're missing something in the first one. You said, I shopping or I was shopping? I was shopping with some friends yesterday and I lost my keys. Very good, excellent. You make me feel like dancing. Very good, excellent job, sir. Woohoo! Olguita Ramirez. Olguita. Hello. Hello. Would you like to try number three? 
Oke. Okay. Um, I evaluate the whole sentence. Evaluate the whole sentence, mm -hmm. and you can use either past continuous or simple past. Mm. It will give you a clue. I space around with my friends all day on Sunday. All day. That means that it was a continuous action in the past. So are you going to use simple past or past continuous? Um, uh huh. What do you think? Simple past. Are you sure? Is past <laughs> continuous yes. in the past? Okay. Mm -hmm. As I. I very good. Mm -hmm. I was. I was. Mm -hmm. Drive. Driver or driving. I drive. I was. I was driving. I was driving. Very good. I was driving. I was driving around with friends all day on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I and I um around mm -hmm. around up uh -huh. of gas or the freeway. Very good. The pass of ran out is run with a run, run out. Very run. good. But repeat after me, I'll give them. I ran out of gas on the freeway. Repeat it. I ran mm -hmm. off. I ran. I, I ran out of the gas. Of gas on the freeway. Of of, of, of of gas on the freeway. Very good. So now do me a favor. Say the complete sentence. I I was drive, driving around with friends mm -hmm. all day on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mm -hmm. round out mm -hmm. of gas on the freeway. Very good. Fantastic. Excellent job. Very good. Good job. Okay, Helen Mercedes, would you like to try number four? Okay. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. I was trying to visit my parents last night mm -hmm. when I got stuck in the elevator in their apartment building. Very good. Now do me a favor. It, it's, it's excellent. But I want you to say it once without stopping. Okay. <sighs> Take a deep breath <laughs> and move on. Very good. Okay. I was trying to visit my parents last night when I got stuck in the elevator in their apartment building. No, 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 no. Don't mm -hmm. ask me if it's a question. This is a sentence. Oh, well then. <laughs> okay, yeah. so again, please go ahead. You can do it. Okay. I was trying to visit my parents last night when I got stuck in the elevator in the apartment building. Very good. That's what I need in the apartment mm -hmm. building. Now it's a sentence. The first two uh, examples that you gave us, they were asking a question. A question. Said, in the apartment building, and no, that was yeah. not the right intonation. So that exactly, you see, this teacher has a physical ear that you cannot imagine. Very good. <laughs> yeah, no, but thank you. Very good. Excellent. You make me cry. All right. <laughs> Excellent. So now, guys, that is easy peasy, queasy, right, Jose? Pass continuous. Mm, he could do it with his eyes closed. But you know what? Right now, I will send you the second part. And in this second part, I want you guys to put and pay attention to the one that we have recently seen, okay? The past participle, okay? Or the past, yeah, perfect. Okay, so let me send it to you right now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And just let me know once you receive it, okay, guys? Okay, in this second part, I just want you to translate this into past perfect. Okay, do you receive it, guys? Yes, you did, right? Yes. Okay, cool. So now you're going to work in pairs. Oh, we are 12 here. Okay, very good. So that means six, right? No, but I'm not going to include me. It's not me. Okay. 
Bear with me for a moment. Let me create right now. Okay, how many we are? 12, right? How many classrooms we need to create? Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. Okay, guys, I'm gonna send it to you the invitations. Okay, please accept it and work together to, um, to do the, the, this activity, okay? Okay, your friend, a copy of them, or she uh -huh. came over. Remember that okay. is a past a participle, so it's had, and the past participle of the verb. Okay. So is it is it give? What is the what is the verb there? Give, give gave, 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 given. Remember that is a past participle. It was given. Uh huh. Very good. Exactly. Okay. Do your okay. best. I know you can do it, girls. Show girl power. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, um, this she is. The next, uh, I shop it with my with some friends. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Eat, uh -huh. eat it. It reached the fifth floor. It reached it the fifth stopped. floor when Stop. it stopped. Stop it. After, After I was, I was stuck. stuck for an hour. <laughs> Someone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Melvin. Melvin said, "Like you know what? See, but guys, <laughs> see, it's a... <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, I need to concentrate it. But that's good. You're doing fine, guys. Very good. Two minutes more, and then we come back. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. <laughs> love this guy." <laughs> Hi guys, how is it going? Como van? <laughs> Wendy? Uh, we have to start. Okay, the you have to start. Sentence. Okay, very good. Did you finish already? No. And no? Yes. Okay, do your best. Okay, one more minute and then we come back together, okay? Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you guys. Richard. Uh-huh. How's your guy, you guy doing? It's a little bit difficult. No, come on, Eduardo. Don't do that. You, you, uh, see, you need to ask Mr. Dash. <laughs> Is it difficult? It's because you have to remember the past participle of the verse, right? Yeah, but... Uh, mm -hmm. It's difficult... No, where is the, the past perfect? Uh-huh. What is the difficulty that you have? For example, in the first one, mm -hmm. uh, in the in the in the first. Mm -hmm. Because um so, something happens when occurs another event. Uh-huh, event, exactly. Event. Okay. But the second one it could be it had reached the fifth floor when it stopped. Mm -hmm. That might be. Is that correct? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> you want to let, give me that, that, the, the answer. No way, Eduardito. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just, the, 
just double check the examples that I sent it to you guys. Because it could be either uh, first the past event and then the other um, action that happens before the past event, or it could be on the opposite way. So what you gotta do is to analyze the whole sentence and double check if first you're going to put simple past and then the past uh, perfect or vice versa. Just analyze the sentence. Hi, this teacher is really bad, right? It makes so you think. We, we change the, the sentences. You can change it. And whatever it makes you feel comfortable and gives like a, <laughs> like the meaning, right, of what you're trying to say or explained. Don't, don't, don't be afraid if you're not going to finish everything. That's okay. As long as you finish and you did only one, that's amazing for me. <laughs> and it's time to come back together, you know? Ay, teacher. Don't worry, okay? We're going to evaluate everybody, okay? Everybody will do it together, okay? Okay, okay. All right. Uh huh. How was it, guy? Was it good? Was it easy? Patty, I don't hear you. No, no, it's easy for me, but um, yes, practice. Yeah, um, practice. Memorizing, memorizing the verbs. Memorizing, yeah, exactly, exactly. You see, it's different when you speak than when you yes. write. So you yes. need to like have everything at the same time, speaking, reading, writing, and listening to develop. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's good, but let's double check. I'm going to wait on the rest of the guys because they need to join us and then we can double check how you got. Uh, let me, but let me start right now. Um, Patti, would you like to try number one? Let's double check what you have. You, you uh, work with uh, Adela, right? Yes. Okay, cool. What do you have on the first one, Patti? Mm -hmm. I look like I luckily 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 mm -hmm. I was giving a friend a copy of them mm -hmm. and she came over mm -hmm. and led me into my apartment aha she came over are you sure and she came over mm. that's the pass of of that's the past participle the past participle mm. came come came come came come see so it's yes. come over it's so come it's come over, over. but you mm -hmm. had to put the past participle uh, of the verb and in the past uh, perfect so you said she had come over okay mm -hmm. but yeah. very good good try excellent very good okay great. thank you you're welcome you did your best <laughs> excellent melvin what about you what about number two what you have for us and actually we only uh, only put past tense of the verb, but I I note is wrong. It could use either a past simple past or past perfect. Either or depends. Okay. Try to think the, about the letter B. What you have for there? Letter B. It reached mm -hmm. the the fifth floor when when it stopped. Aha! The second one is great, but what about the first one? It reached. Reached. What he was reaching. Reaching. Mm -hmm. Was reaching. Past okay. continuous. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. It was reaching the fifth floor when it is uh, when it stopped. Okay. When it stopped. Okay. After I. Okay. After I, that will be past perfect there. After past I. Perfect. Uh huh. After I, what is the verb that you use after I, of after subject? What is the verb? Are you sure? 
Yes, B is going to be, but remember that the B you need to transform into past participle. In this case, it's going to be been, right? Has been. After I been. But before the verb beam, you have to use another verb. What is the auxiliary that you're using? Has been. Has or had? I have. So uh -huh. mm -hmm. I have been stuck on a, an hour. Uh -huh. Someone started it, started it again. Very good. Excellent. What about C? Uh, what do you have for me, Jose? C. I Excellent. Guess you we, guess? Mm -hmm. I guess we have left mm -hmm. the door. Mm -hmm. The door unlocked because that's how the tears got into the house. Got it into or had gotten into? Had gotten into. Very good. And the last one, letter D, Carlitos, what you have for us? <clears throat> Sorry, teacher, I, I am working with myself. That's okay, okay, no problem. Okay, fortunately, I... I brought, so I I brought my cell phone with me. I saw her call, call it, mm -hmm. my brother for help. Okay, that's what you have, guys. What do you think? Thank you, Carlitos. What about you, Wendy? What do you think? Yes, I have the same. Okay. I put rain and call it. All right. Very good. Excellent. Okay, guys. Very good. I know that this one is a little bit harder, right? Yeah, because we need to like make like a little refresh about the past participle of the verse. Okay, that's that's I think that's the mm, inconvenient right now. But don't worry, I have sent it to you a, a 50 list of our regular verbs, and I'm gonna send it to you more, okay? Because we you cannot imagine how many we have. Woo! More than a hundred, guys. Ooh, yes, a lot. Yes, the regular birds are a few, but the irregular birds, oh, they're a lot. Okay, so I'm going to send it to you just for you to keep it and also continue learning and improving and just making like a friendly reminder, okay? Tomorrow, guys, it's going to be our last day and I don't want to think about it. Okay, but uh, tomorrow we'll be just speaking. Woo! Yeah, you cannot imagine. So you need to prepare to speak. Okay. Got it? Um, no, no, no. Patty, of course, I'm going to make exceptions. Okay. But just as a, as, a, as a very friendly advice, you can drink a, a cup of chamomile tea before class. So that will help you yes, with your throat. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, guys. I'll miss you, but I don't, I don't want to think about yet tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> no. Tomorrow is tomorrow, okay? Okay, guys, oh, hugs and kisses, okay? I love you so much, everybody. Have a nice Thank night, you. okay? Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.